What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to break down the difference between the ERAS application, the Electronic Residency Application Service, uh, uh, compared to the NRMP, the National Residency Matching Program. And I'm going to talk about this because I personally had a lot of questions about what the heck is the difference. I thought they were the same um, because you have to fill out the ERAS application to match, uh, but they're not. So because I had the question, I figured you guys all had the question as well. So why don't we talk about that now? Um, holistically, let me just give you a broad overview and then we'll go into the details. The ERAS application is ultimately what you use to apply for residency. It is the content of your residency application. However, the NRMP is the means through which this application is matched with a program. So it's almost like uh, the ERAS is the content it's the, it's the engine, and the NRMP is the actual holistic car that delivers that application to different programs and then connects the two when you have to match because you will list your programs, the programs will list you, and the NRMP is responsible for you to match with your programs. So, again, ERAS is the application, NRMP is the process through which you actually match utilizing that application. So, with that being said, let me now actually show you the overall ERAS application, what it includes and what it doesn't include. Everything I'm showing you here, I'm going to include as a PDF in the description below. So if you have any questions about any of this stuff, it will all be included in the description of this video. This video is being filled in 2021. So uh, this is for the 2022 application. And you'll see that when you first fill out the application, this is kind of what you'll see. You'll see the status of the application, whether it's incomplete or complete. You'll see documents such as your letters of recommendation, as well as your request status. Uh, NBME, things like that uh, to get your step one scores. Um, and now I actually want to talk about the actual application itself, which has a lot of different components to it. But for example, the first one includes the account information, then you have basic information, address. All of this stuff is included in a video I've made about my own ERAS application right above. Um, and so all of this shemaz is going to be included in that one. The biographical information includes your language fluency, military, education includes all your education stuff as well as experiences where you can talk about um, your training experiences as well as your clinical teaching work and volunteer experiences. And then if you have any questions, you can add those in as well as licensure and publications. At the end, you'll review and submit. And this is holistically what accounts for your overall ERAS application. And then of course, there is the MSPE, which is the Dean's letter that every medical student will have, as well as the application release form and then actual submission. So this is ERAS. This is the content that you fill out to ultimately match. But this is not the process of matching itself. To make sure that you match itself, you actually have to submit your, um, your ERAS application. But once you submit it, you also have to sign up for the NRMP, the National Resident Matching Program. The whole PDF for applying and um, getting your account number for the NRMP actually happens in September. ERAS opens in like July. NRMP, for some reason, does not open at the same time. It opens in September. So when it opens in September, make sure you go to this site and sign up to make sure you are um, ultimately ready for the match. Because if you don't do this, programs may get your application, but then you may not be able to match. So point being, you need to have all of this stuff ready to go. These are the prerequisites. And the way you sign up for the match is ultimately listed here. And you need to do this in September. And when you do this in September, you then need to take the NRMP ID that you get from this and put it into your ERAS application. And this allows ERAS and the people who get your ERAS application to see like, oh, that's your residency matching number. And now they know ultimately how to uh, rank you, I think, down the road. So this is kind of how you register for the match. Again, this PDF, I will link in the description below. And then you also have a nice handy dandy checklist to make sure that you have uh, you know, all the tools you need to make sure you understand what the match is about. You can see that the match opens September 15th. This is when you can sign up for your NRMP. You sign up for the NRMP, it costs $85. Again, they're never gonna lose a chance to charge you. Um, a $50 late fee if you register after 31st, but if you haven't registered, register now, and then uh, obviously do all of these things. Um, and then on February 1st, you add in your rank list. This is, I think, you list the programs that you are interested in, the programs list who they're interested in, and then the results of the match come out between May, uh, between March 14th and March 18th. So I know this was a lot of information. I'm going to include all of this information in the description below, but notice how the ERAS is different from the NRMP, but the two work hand in hand to make sure that um, hopefully residency works out. So fingers crossed for me, fingers crossed for all of you. 
I hope this video was helpful. If it was, drop a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.